So starting early in the morning, we've been working this area all along right here. Um, there's been a lot of bait. There's been a pretty good school of redfish that have been hanging out in here. There's a reef, two reefs right here that we've been checking on. And there's been some really good redfish. The mud's been coming in here. When the tide starts coming out, it comes out and goes right over here and gets back up in this channel right here. In the, and we've been catching those fish coming up and out, back and forth, all up in here. The mud's been pretty good in there. Um, we've been seeing some nice redfish, a few trout. After that, we're going kind of like in the middle of brown and root. And over here in the middle, there's some old duck blinds up in there. And we've been chasing those fish in those potholes. I've been chasing the fish a lot in those potholes. Find the bait and you've been finding the fish. I've been throwing cut mullet. As the year progresses, these fish are going to come out like this and they're going to start going out, trying to go out like that because we're getting the northwest wind so that water is going to start going out. We've been coming over here to Mud Island and coming up again. I'm up in an airboat so I'm way up skinny and we've been coming all this way over here and kind of working this area right here. There's been some good redfish, some nice trout. Find the mullet, you find the bait. We've been throwing cut mullet on the bottom. As the day progresses, I'll keep on coming this way and just kind of working these holes right here. There's some nice potholes right there that we've been catching some nice redfish on cut mullet. After that, I'll kind of come out over here and come in this deep water right here, right on the almost on the point of mud and working all those deep holes, um, catching some redfish. There is some trout. If you throw live finger mullet, you can catch some trout and redfish. Every once in a while, I'll come around a corner over here in this skinny water, watch out for waders because there's always waders over here waiting. And we'll be catching some pretty nice redfish on live mullet. And then I'll just kind of work this shoreline as the day progresses down, following the bait. Always find the bait, find the fish. I've been coming over here early in the morning, working this little area right here on Hog Island. Um, I've been catching some nice redfish and some nice trout. Um, I go back up in this little lake right here inside a hog. Um, this back corner, depending on which way the wind's blowing, if it's blowing in that southeast wind light, you can catch you some nice redfish in there. Um, and I'm throwing, again, cut mullet. Um, then I'll come out here. If the north wind's blowing, I'll fish this point right here. I like to fish this point right here and throw some live mullet, and I catch some trout and some redfish. And then I just kind of work my way on down here looking for bait and um, paying attention to which way the wind direction. This whole shoreline right here, I like to watch see which way the wind's blowing it and if it's blowing into this hog island on a north northwest wind you know you can sit there and those fish run up and down up and down this shoreline and you can catch them um toward the end over here there is some nice trout over here a couple on the shell right here um and I, i'm throwing live mullet or some live shrimp and uh that seems to be working pretty good and then after that i'll go over here right over here by these little islands right here and uh, catch some pretty nice redfish up and down here, depending on how high the tide is. And I'll throw right up on top of this um, by the old terminals, and uh, we'll catch some nice fish. Again, on uh, cut mullet or live mullet.